Good day, we have reached the third week of May. I would like to share with you on my analysis of STI, China A50 and QQQ indices on my preparation for the coming week trades. I will also share with you on my mid-term holding Alibaba trading strategy where I continue to milk some dividend out of 100 Alibaba shares. Let's go! Looking at the turbulence sea at the left, I keep reminding myself that I have to do more position sizing and take smaller position. The stock market has exhibited a strong pull of QQQ above my previous video of 330 to 334 resistance. Although I have taken a small short position on last Friday, I am not convinced that the surge is over. Will I take a long position? Absolutely not. I will exercise more cautious until the price action of QQQ is clearer before placing my money. To recap second week of May for STI, it is to observe 3,160 support and not take any action. For China A50, there is no action taken as it is near to the first support level. As for QQQ, I have taken a short position above 334 level. As my trades are short term within intraday of four weeks, I will need to analyze the price action for the past few days to decide what is the strategies to take on STI, FTSE A50 and QQQ. Then, I will also give you a summary of what's action I will be taking as well. Based on my previous analysis, I was monitoring STI at the support level of 3160 and last Wednesday it has reached the lowest of 3168. Looking at the price action, I will not be doing any trading for the moment, however I will focus on the price action of STI with the support at 3100. I have started tracking DBS and also choosing another STI component stocks to focus on. Please subscribe to my channel so that I can share my views and gather your thought as well. Next on the China A50, there is not much action as most of the money has been drawn to the high-tech growth stock in USA. I will be focusing on the support level of $13.80 while keeping an eyes on the China banks, semiconductors and electric vehicle and battery key players. I have already taken a small position in the China banks for mid-term investment and also a small position in another battery player for short term. No action for now till June 19. In the previous Sunday sharing, I highlighted that QQQ is coming into the corner of the wedge formation. It is very near to have a breakthrough either up or downside. We have witnessed that QQQ has made a strong pull up and now is at 337 level. I have initiated a short position. I have no intention to add on to my position and instead will be tracking the price action movement for QQQ in the next few days. I need to see QQQ start to make either a top or just a breakout formation. No action except that I will be preparing for seek out commodities counter which is currently trading at below fair price. Next I would like to share my dividend strategy on Alibaba 100 shares. You can see some of my sell options and strangle option implementation on Alibaba for less than two weeks. From my past video analysis, I have commented on the support of $80 and resistance $90 to $92. Alibaba has touches the high of above $91 and below $92 on last Wednesday and Thursday. Therefore, I have sell covered call position at $88. Also the sell put position at $84. The total of the six trades is a dividend of $570 US dollars received. 
By the way, I have learned the option strategy through the hard way of learning through books and trying out in one contract near to a year of intensive trading. Here, I like to share with you on journey and also hear your comments. In summary, I will monitor STI and take action around 3100 level. I may take a small bite for mid-term position in Singapore component stock. As for China A50 no action till June 19th. QQQ is exhibiting an interesting trend because the Dow Jones, S&P and Russell are not in sync. Therefore, I thought the market makers are working through the price action to influence the next move. As we are going into the month of June, please exercise more cautious. I have some views on how the market will move in first week of June. But I would like to more indication in the next few days. Please note that these are non-financial advice. To get my latest analysis, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.